Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy Rito here. Welcome back to a brand new video. See, anyways, my boys, I'm gonna basically be going over this uh, little fun Halloween event just for you know, just for the uh, fun of it. I'm not gonna go over the cannon game and the uh, the little corn cannon. You know, pretty much uh, you gotta pretty much collect rewards. Is not really good for this year for the uh, little candy cane, little corn candy. But I'm gonna go after these uh, pumpkin dudes. <clears throat> so, anyways. Whenever you kill these little pumpkin dudes, they drop moon lords, right? <coughs> so anyways, you kill these guys and you collect a hundred of these little pumpkin moon lord things. And pretty much, once you collect a hundred, you combine them with pretty much, you know, a campfire. For example, I got 3,400 and I can, uh, I can pretty much, I can make 34 of these little uh, pie things, right? So when you open up these little pie things, they they give you like they give you like all types of uh they give you like all types of random rewards like they give you a vamp they give you a vamp outfit they give you a mommy outfit um, which pretty much uh I don't really like it that much I don't know give me a second but yeah let me find let me find that stupid skull. Alright, so like one of the most major items right here from it is pretty much this little uh, Ghost Rider skull thing. And then there's more, then you get footsteps, uh, you, you get the point. It also depends on uh, RNG. Here's all three rare skull masks. Yeah, so anyways, every single day, right, it kind of sucks though, every single day, you get three campfires, meaning that you can base open up three a day, and it kind of sucks. In order to basically get more, you gotta basically uh, you gotta pay to win. To be honest, like one campfire is like 90, uh, 97, 97 terra coins. So like, if you was to spend like, I don't know, like, um, if you was to spend like ten dollars, you could get like, um, you could get like ten of these campfires. But like every single day, you can you can only open up five a day, so that's actually kind of stupid. And then you get three every single day. It's really dumb. <clears throat> so, anyways, not only that, I actually glad I pulled three of the cures off. Not only that, while you actually killing these guys, right? You can also get superior superior nasium. You can actually form superior nasium off these guys and then then they also drop squishy pies which pretty much you can stack them up and just keep on using it and uh, every time you eat one like 100% it helped me a lot in my heart when I was about to when I should have basically died in the fire and then this one is also like a bit much helpful you get a uh, midnight oil every time you eat one of these increase crafting speed of all equipment by 50 per uh, by 50% and uh, yeah, so you pretty much you get them, you get all of that crap from these guys, right? And they gonna be lasting for over, um, for over uh, 44 days, uh, what, 39, 39 days. And I'm about to basically get to the best part. All right, you guys. <clears throat> so, anyways, I'm gonna tell you how to basically farm these pumpkin dudes. A lot of people know this, and a lot of a lot of people doesn't know it. But anyways, if you turn crossplay offline, right, you're gonna be like you know farming farming alone to like players who actually have a turn you know crossplay offline. And if you play crossplay, if you have a crossplay online, you're gonna see like lots of people. Like you're gonna see like lots and lots and lots of people basically like. Going from town to town and pretty much killing it, and you can possibly find like possibly one out of five. I do want to say, but if you turn the crossplay offline, you're gonna pretty much you know be farming alone. <clears throat> if you're an Xbox, right, you're gonna find like one out of five players. Like one out of five, it's, it's actually kind of rare to see somebody have a crossplay offline on a Xbox. On PlayStation, I would say like five out of twenty players. Because uh, PlayStation got more players than uh, pretty much Xbox, but it's still better than farming <clears throat> cross 
farming in a uh, crossplay, you know, pretty much online. Because you can't, you can't barely find like a lot of these pumpkin dudes. Because uh, you know, you ain't gonna see them because you keep killing them. You know. So anyways, uh, <clears throat> so anyways, you could pretty much go like whatever place when you have your crap set to offline. You could just go whatever you want and just pretty much kill pumpkins. You're gonna see like a decent amount, a, a very small amount, or pretty much a huge amount. But in order to see a huge amount of pumpkins, I would say the most I ever seen in, in one single spot was like 50 of them, right? But I guess that's only that's only if that's only if you don't pretty much you know kill them and you just let them like spawn in like every 30 seconds or a minute. You know, and they keep uh, they keep multiplying like again after again to become like you know a huge you know stack. But you know, it's whatever. It's whatever though. But you know, one time I seen a huge amount, right? <sighs> one just spawned in right there. One time when I seen a huge amount, <clears throat> I I killed I killed a lot of them in like ten minutes. And let me just say, right? Um, <clears throat> Let me just say, in 10 minutes, I earned 1,500 of them little uh, moon gourd things from these uh, guys. Uh, this is a decent amount right here. This is like a little bit of decent. It's a little small amount. I earned uh, 1,500 by killing these dudes in 10 minutes. And let me just say, if you spend like multiple hours of farming crossplay offline, you could earn up to like 20k, right? 20k of these, uh, these little, little moon gourds. Oops. <clears throat> but who's gonna open up 200 you know who's gonna open up 200 that knowing that you can only open up five a day so anyways uh, I'm just basically showing you around like these little uh, pumpkin dudes in these little cities <coughs> they haven't basically uh, spawned in yet like fully there's only some of it <coughs> but you know farming crossplay offline is pretty much the way to go they also have a, a insane, they also have in the same spawn time as well. Like they spawn like two times a uh, day. I, I don't know, <coughs> I don't know the um, spawn time, but it's like, they spawn in like six, I think like 6 p.m. for me. 6 p.m. and they go for like 3 a.m. at midnight. 3 a.m. at midnight or 4 p.m. It's one of those. Alright, this is actually a small amount. These are these are a lot of small amounts. I can't I can't show you a big amount because they have they haven't they haven't spawned in. I tell you what though, whenever whenever I see, <laughs> see a big amount, I'm gonna record it for a YouTube video. I mean I, I re, I'm gonna record it for y'all. <coughs> but now they haven't spawned in, I can't find no areas. Did that someone killed her then they haven't spawned in. <laughs> but anyways, um I'm about to wrap this uh I'm about to wrap this video up um yeah. you can you could just basically inform these guys to basically get superior nasim and uh you know these little frito freaking pies dang i'm kind of sad i wish i had recorded the times when i seen a big ass amount I regretted it, but then again, it was like 2 a.m., so I don't know how long it took. But anyways, y'all get the point. Farming crossplay offline is superior. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up, pretty much. All right. If you wanna basically farm alone and run into like possibly like you know just a couple of players, you got crossplay offline. And if you have it online, you won't barely see it. You would possibly see like one out of five on every single town. But right? most of them is deserted, but it's not it's not the superior compared to crossplay offline because you won't see players, you know, there unless they turn it off. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy your day and uh, peace out. <coughs> Dang. My voice hurts.